Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Riley Ott, the Gen 2 Quad Father, and today I'm going to be giving you the Ultimate Gym Reaper review. Now I'm just like all of you, when I get a little bit of money, I waddle my way over to GNC, where I'll probably end up buying my 10th Shaker Cup and my 5th pre-workout. And now here I am doing the Ultimate Gym Reaper review. So let's not piddle paddle around, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's just start off with the basics. Let's start off with wrist straps. Now I got my Chromebook here to pull up the prices of this and it looks like I paid $20 for these. The Gym Reapers, they're by far my favorite. They have the, uh, the thumb hole, which I know a lot of people have complained about in recent lifting. I see no issue with it. I actually really enjoy the thumb strap. A lot of people just get the ones that wrap around their wrists. Eh. Not for me. I have noticed the Velcros tore up the fabric a little bit between the Velcro and the logo, but that's not really a big deal. I don't really care. I've used these probably three times a week for six months now, and they're the most durable and they're the most comfortable. They're elastic, or at least partially elastic, so, you know, you don't, you got a, you got a nice stretch. You can get it nice and tight around your wrist. I mean, I use these wrist straps three, four times a week. I use them for barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press. I use them occasionally for low row. And I I have not had any problems with them. I like how it's tighter around the wrist, but it's loose around the thumb. It doesn't make my hands feel uncomfortable. I have full range of motion. Um, And then, you know, they're just durable. I don't feel like I'm going to snag them on something and something's going to tear open like I have with some of the cheaper ones. So for 20 bucks. You're getting a name brand, you're getting your bang for your buck, five stars. Next up, the Jim Reaper knee sleeves. Now you can see I got all my stuff in this Ranger green color. And it looks like it'll run you about $60 on the Jim Reaper website. Now, I have horrible knees. I need knee braces bad, and these are very thick knee braces. You're not going to put these on and feel like minimal support. These are tight around your legs. And these are gonna, they're gonna be a great brace for you. If you are looking for something that is just more of like a support than a brace, I'd maybe go the knee wrap route, like a knee wrap, which they also sell on the Jim Reaper website. I don't have those. But for the knee sleeves, um, they're seven millimeters. I mean, they are thick ass sleeves. I wear a medium. I'm 165 pounds five foot eleven and one of my bigger muscles would be my quads i have very solid legs for a taller man so i i wear a medium i was thinking i would maybe need a large but a medium fits me perfectly so i would say maybe the sizes are a little little higher you know maybe go a size down from what you would normally wear but you know they have a sizing chart judge for yourself biggest issue with the knee braces i've had is the stench. The stench is horrible. I say I wear them leg days twice a week. So let's say I just wear my knee braces twice a week. I've been wearing them twice a week for maybe six months now. And I've washed them four times and even straight out of the wash, they smell just horrible. I've washed them twice. I've washed them once and then washed them again. And they still smell horrible after the second wash. Um, I have washed and dried. They don't shrink in the dryer, but they just don't. I just can't get the smell to go away. It is horrible. When I put these braces on in the gym, my friends are always like, did somebody not wear deodorant? And it's just like, no, that's just Riley's knee braces. They just smell like that. Overall, I love the support they provide. I mean, they're thick, they're durable. I don't feel like they're ever going to rip or stretch out. I mean, they feel amazing during the squat and leg press for that matter, but the stench is going to have to bring it down. You know, I mean, the sizing's a little off. Like I said, maybe go a size smaller and the stench is just unbearable. So I'm going to have to give them like a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And pretty much everything I said for the knee sleeves also goes for the elbow sleeves. Elbow sleeves run you $40. They're 5 millimeters, so they're not as thick as the knee braces. Um, really, I haven't used them all that much. I'm not benching 405. I bench 195. So I don't have any need for knee or elbow sleeves. 
Um, so I don't use them very frequently, but they're they're still they're thicker sleeves. They're durable. I feel very similar. But even in the small time I've worn this stench is just it's just horrible. So I'll I'll rate them a little higher. You know, but that might just be because I haven't wore them. Um, I'll give them you know four out of five stars. But I think it's just because I haven't used them as much as the knee sleeves. Still go a size down though, because that's a medium and that's that's pretty tight on me. And I don't have massive arms. I don't have a massive upper body uh next up we got the the lifting hooks now these will bring you about thirty dollars i have the gray color i mean the color is nice it goes with my lever belt which i'll be showing off next um i don't i don't like them i don't like them i've used other hook grips and you know they've been good for heavy deadlifts i deadlift 340 at 165 pounds so you know, pound for pound, my deadlift isn't bad, but I don't like how they feel. I'll show you a little closer up. You got just like this foam, and it doesn't wrap around your wrist very well. Like the plasticky pieces and the metal, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel good on your wrist when you wear it. Pretty simple to put on. I mean, you take the strap, you bring it through the loop and then wrap it around. I mean, it's not it's not rocket science, but it hurts my wrist. I'm not even deadlifting. There's nothing on this right now, and it hurts my wrist. And this just comes with the hook grip game, but I don't necessarily like the feeling when I'm holding it. I can't really, the hook's too wide to just grasp onto. So when I deadlift, you know, the lack of sensory is just not, it's not a feeling I like. I mean, it hurts to wear. There's other hook grips I've used. I don't re necessarily remember the brand. I would have to ask my friend that has them. But I've used other hook grips and I've liked them because you have more of like a grip around the bar. This is just so wide that the bar just sits in the groove. Um, I'm not I'm not much of a fan. I wouldn't put it above a, a three star. I'll put it at three stars just because it's, it is durable. I mean, I could run these over with a semi and I don't think they would break they are very very built they're built to last but I mean they are for deadlifts at the end of the day so you know three three out of five stars the product everyone probably clicked on this video for is the the Jim Reaper lever belt now I will start off by saying it's it's a five star it's five out of five stars there is nothing on the market that compares to this it is a 10 millimeter belt it is Thick, it is durable if you have the right size you are just it's gonna support you so much my PRs went up almost 15 pounds when I got this belt going from the one they had at my gym which was a two-prong belt to this lever belt it's a game-changer but I, I have my fair share of small complaints that I'll just put out there even though it's a five star out of five star it's great I'm um, just things to be aware of know this when you purchase this item when I bought it, it had a sticker right here that said small, um, and it just, it just won't come off for some reason. I've tried to peel it off a million times and it just won't come off. Another thing I've realized is the part where you screw on the lever, because it doesn't come as one piece, it comes with a lever that you screw onto the belt, and the lever, these screws that hold it in, after use so many times, you know, use it you know, every day for a month, you'll notice it starts to get loose. It's no longer tight in there. It jiggles around. You can probably even see on the camera that it, it'll move around. Um, so every like two weeks I've had to tighten the belt, but it's not, it's not really a big deal. If you're going for the cool belt flick where you flick the belt off, this one isn't for you. It's got the hooks that go around. So when you put the belt on, There's no flicking it off. Once it's on, it's on. I mean, you can you can flick it, but you're not going to be able to flick it off because of those hooks. Also, the the fabric started peeling along these edges, like where the sewing is. It has peeled up to the stitching. But those things I just said are all aesthetics. They're all looking at it. It doesn't affect how the product works. The product works perfectly. It just 
has those couple flaws where I think they'd just be easy fixes for the company if they haven't fixed them already. But for for 120 bucks, you're not gonna beat it. Don't go on Amazon and buy some $80 belt from a brand you haven't heard. Spend a little bit of extra money, get the $120 one. This is a miracle. I'm wearing a small. Um, once again, I probably would have thought I would have wore a medium. But, you know, it's a belt. It's supposed to be tight. So make sure to read the sizing instructions and read them thoroughly and just get the right size. I also have to say with the lifting belt, I um, when I bought it and it came in the mail, it didn't come with the lever. It just was this, the belt piece. There was no lever. So I reached out to customer support and they were amazing. Jim Reaper's customer support was amazing. They reached they i after i emailed them they reached out to me in about five minutes and then within 10 minutes they had already shipped out the new lever so if you want to put that as a positive or a negative man that's up to you you know their customer support's great like i said respond in five minutes ship it out in 10 minutes priority mail got here in two days i mean that's awesome but they did forget to send something so you can look at that as a positive or a negative that's your that's your opinion Next up, we got this Jim Reaper backpack. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't buy this. They accidentally sent it to me. So I don't know how much this sells for. I was just on the website on my Chromebook, and I can't figure out the selling price. If they send it to you free with purchases, you know, I have, I have no idea. But I have it, so since I have it, I might as well review it. You know, it's just it's just a drawstring bag. It's not a big one. It's pretty small. I mean, you can see next to me. It won't hold all your gym stuff. If I'm bringing my knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, and, you know, wrist straps, it'll work just fine. But if you're bringing a water bottle, if you're bringing a lifting belt, it won't fit in this bag. Just get a bigger bag. They do sell lifting bags on the website. I know they're not cheap. They're pretty expensive. But I've been thinking about getting one of those myself. But, um, you know... It's a drawstring bag, you know, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Get a, just get a real bag. I got one more thing to review, but I got to bring you guys to the other room. I'm just going to vlog style this part. I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to set my phone up somewhere. But I have this Jim Reaper flag. Nothing's given, everything's earned. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for it. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But, oh my god, the, <laughs> it's messing with me. Uh, this is from the Jim Reaper website. This is from hypeflags.com, and this is from tridentflags.com. So, you know, in a size comparison, it's the second biggest. The Hype Flags one's the smallest, and the Jim Reaper one's the second biggest. And then the Trident Flags is just huge. Um, out of the three, it was the it was the most expensive. Like I said, I'll put the price up. But um, it, it's a nice flag. You know, I, I think it looks... I think it looks good in the gym. There's not much to review about it other than just size, but you know, I think it's pretty fucking awesome. So I, I would, if you're getting an order, I would, I'd throw one of those in there too. That's all I got for you today though. So, you know, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, like, and subscribe. If you're here, most likely you're here from my Instagram at otterboxer101, but if you're not and you found me on YouTube, my main platform is Instagram, baby. I don't know what you're doing here. This is like my second video. All the good stuff's over there. Uh, so follow the Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, I have more plans for videos coming up. Just bought Arnold Schwarzenegger's new book. Um, and I, I, at some point, I want to do a review of that on here. And I've had a couple Q&As. I've had a couple questions asked over on Instagram. And I think I'm going to make a whole video over here talking about it. So, you know, subscribe for some more mediocre content and I'll see you in the next one baby